getting to know you, getting to know all about you, getting to like you, getting to hope you like me, getting to know you, getting to know all about you, getting to like you, getting to hope you like me. Hi, my name is Knife, and I am grateful for your life span. This is my first time making, uh, preparing raw mushrooms as some kind of saute, saute mushrooms. My first time saute mushrooms. What kind of mushrooms did you choose? Uh, Criminy. Shiitake. Ice top. Criminy. Shiitake. Portobello. Baby bell. Right, hurry up. Sorry, I'm being impatient. I'm gonna just let that warm up. Okay, first time. Salt and mushrooms. Here we go. I'm gonna let that go for a little while. And we'll be back. Getting Cuddy. Part two, bell pepper. Here we go. Hello, my name is Knight. And I'm, I'm, I'm shopping for a wife. Do you have any recommendations? Yeah, is that right? You think she likes me too? Well, that would be really nice. Because, um, then, I could get what I like. Okay, so we're cutting mush uh, bell pepper. Come on now. And we're going to add it to the saute. And then we might turn it into a, um, what do you call it? Uh, oh man, the word's not jumping out at me. We're going to add bell pepper to the mushrooms. Pretend this is a cooking show or something. And, uh, we're gonna make, maybe we're gonna make an omelet. That's the word I was looking for. Add some eggs to the whole trinity. Bell pepper, mushrooms, and eggs. Maybe I'm starting a, a new, like, favorite breakfast. I've, I've reinvented breakfast so many times, and I've just made a lot of, I did a lot of climbing. I did a lot of climbing. To get this level of, you know, intricacy takes uh, a lot. I'm just watching this vegetable get cut. It's intense. Just quick and painless, quick and painless. Hi, my name is Knife, and I'm like a boy. Ready or not, here I come. It's the kind that I like. I've been smoking and I've been joking, flying down the 284, but I'm focused. No, I don't drive. I got too many speeding tickets, and I crashed my car in like what may have been a suicide attempt. We don't know. Might have been some trickery of the mind. I don't know. I'm trying to get rid of my car, perhaps. And then the high guy doesn't have to worry people about what if he gets behind a wheel. Hi guy is just gonna fry food it's in his kitchen. Let's say alright. Let's get fried. Banging myself up. Alright, don't worry about those seeds. A couple of seeds won't hurt. Pretend they're Jimson weed seeds or something. They're in the night, both in the nightshade family, anyways. Okay, let's move it over here. 
you ready for this part? So beautiful. Mushrooms meet bell pepper. Now, now it's a marriage between two things. Two unlikely things. Mushrooms and nightshade. What do you think we're hinting at? Good work. All right, we're going to cover it and let, you know, God take over. I just got this idea. Uh, add some wine, because I had my last cup of wine of my life last night um, until I changed my mind. Um, and so I thought, well, we got this bottle, got to finish it off, why don't we? I've seen this done before, okay? This is, I've seen this done before. Just a little bit, you know, and then we're going to keep the top off. Let the alcohol and all that evaporate off, leaving just the, the flavoring, the subtle, you know, whatever flavoring. Even though I don't like the taste of wine, it was just, I've seen it done on other shows, and they say it helps the flavor, sort of. Okay, so that's going to help bring out the juices. <laughs> it's going to help bring out the juices. It's like... I don't hear the mushrooms crying. I just, it sounds like, Jesus. I guess they lost consciousness. We're praying they lost consciousness. Okay. Now there's like a caramelizing effect going on with the wine added. That's kind of nice. And it's soaking up, soaking up. But what's, what, how are we going to put this all together? You know what I mean? How is this going to be? It's mushrooms and bell pepper. Do you think we should add a couple of eggs to the mix? Turn it into like a an omelet? Thinking about it. Well, oh, think about it. Hold on. Uh, just I'm not, I'm just gonna add one egg for flavor, okay? These are cage free, by the way, so I have a heart. And okay. Woo! Beautiful. One little trick, if you have, uh, I don't know, acne scars or wrinkles or something like that, you can uh, help rebind skin tissue with the uh, egg white. So I, I, yeah, all right. Okay, hold on. Let's let it sit. Now it's like, you know, slight eggy flavor without, you know, being too overly, too heavy in egg because that's going to weigh... It's gonna be too heavy of a meal, too much egg. With just a little mushroom and bell pepper, it's gonna be a low calorie, you know, lot high volume meal. So you can indulge, take more bites, you know. I don't know. Uh, see the egg kind of like brings out certain flavors. Now I'm thinking about spices. Now I'm thinking about spices. Which spice does everybody in in the motherland rely on? Wherever the motherland is, Let's say it was America. Black pepper, of course. Black pepper. Ground black pepper, here it is. And some of that, not too much though, not too much. Be careful. You can overdo it and then, then you compromise the whole meal. Oh, I can smell it. We gotta cook it down some. And it's rich in, uh, what's it rich in? What's that black pepper? I, I used to, I can't remember it right now. Alright, this look, sounds like it's done. It's kind of like a, a bubble pipe that collects impurities at the bottom. Collects impurities at the bottom. All the the murder and rape that's been settled down. And it's like, okay, you, you gotta do what you gotta do to prepare your food, so. And all the all the frying pan needs. The frying pan, you just need to soak the frying pan. Let's turn this off then. Everyone, you did a great job. Give yourself a big congratulations. Playing the food particles like they're conscious for some reason, I don't know. Just a game that I play, I guess. But they kind of roll over like, man, I'm participating with a mind and a body. But. All right. And next step is, I'm gonna throw in some toast. Throw on some toast because it's just not a full enough meal. And I've always been fond of sourdough. 
I'm, I'm, I'm making my lover breakfast in bed. That was the deal. So the breakfast has to be high quality. And sourdough with butter, you know, is, is a classic. So you can put the, we can put the sauteed vegetable matter on top and it's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to compete with cheeseburgers and let that toast. Uh, I just wanted to mention something. I have this theory about eggs and avocados. It's like avocados will, you know, prevent the hair loss from eggs. That will prevent the wrinkles from the avocados. And the two work as a team. So you keep your hair and you keep your skin nice. The egg and avocado dosha, or team, or egg and avocado theory. Excuse me. Sometimes I say the darndest things. They don't always, all, you know, I, sometimes I make change and sometimes I make sense. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, sometimes I make, never mind about that. All right, this is butter. I'm using Lando Lakes olive oil and sea salt butter. Well, I think this might even be vegan. Butter, I mean. Eggs and avocado theory. Butter stage complete. There's the toast portion of the meal. My beloved. Oh my god, it wait. And I think. Alright, we'll get a, a real plate instead of this styrofoam plate. There. And then completing the dish. Mushroom bell pepper with the, uh, wow, really fried the frying pan. It made my pipe dirty. Good, nice thing about stainless steel is you can just wash it. Can you imagine if this was like glass? I know it looks like a lot, but uh, we're going to keep going. Oh yeah, I dropped the knife. Um, hmm. I always thought that if you start by taking out the, the eye of the avocado, it prepares it for the knife. I'm thinking, I usually do one, two eggs per avocado, so I'm going to save that half and just a little for, you know, added flavor. I'm not corrupting the oils more than just a titch with the high heat of the dish. I know raw and cooked are on two different sides of the wish list. Or are they? And voila! Breakfast of champions. Or whatever. And we're not even done yet. Bon appetit. Just okay. I was gonna go and run and grab some sea salt, but now that I think about it, there's some salt uh, in 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 there's already salt. Salt's already been uh, introduced into the meal through the butter and the bread, probably. All right.
Well, that's, that's mushroomy. You know, I'm not even sure if the mushrooms are cooked enough, but whatever. You know, it's a good thing I added the bell pepper. And the egg, that was, that's a nice touch. Go add, put, I put more toast in the toaster to finish off the rest of the, the sautéed stuff, but a uh, pseudo, sort of like a, the pseudo omelette thing, and um, then I decided um, this is going to get cold and it, it doesn't need to be enhanced with bread, it's, it's a standalone. Thank you for joining me for my breakfast. And uh, I'm not really not just being a celebrity, if, if you're wondering. I just wanted to communicate. I don't know, you know, having a lot of fans, which is one, one or two really, really special fans. You know what I mean? It's like.